Hello and uh, welcome to this session on uh, discussion of uh, CAT 2017 LRDI questions. Okay, <coughs> if you are watching our video and would you like to uh, and would like to share any uh, comments and feedback, please do message us on WhatsApp. You can also inquire about our courses on the same number. Uh, you can also look at our website topmitis.com and if you want to enroll directly for our courses, you can use our Instamojo link. <coughs> now, this is a question which came in CAT 2017 LRDI slot 1. <coughs> okay, uh, This is a moderate to slightly lengthy question. It's not difficult, but you need to have patience just as every other question in this slot. You need to have patience in order to solve the questions. Okay, so let's see what the question says. There are 21 employees working in a division out of which 10 are special and remaining are regular employees. So you have 10 special and 11 regular employees. Okay, in the next five months, the division has to complete five projects every month. So five into five, 25 projects. So out of the 25, five projects are challenging and the remaining are standard. So you have 20 standard projects and five challenging projects. Okay. Every month, the five teams, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, work on a project. Uh, each T1 to T5 are allotted the challenging project for the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth month, respectively. So in the first month, Okay, first month you'll do five projects, second month you do five projects, third month you do five projects, fourth month you'll do five projects, and the last month also you'll do projects. So in the first month, T1 will get the challenging product uh, project, second month T2 will get the challenging project, uh, third month T3 will get the challenging project, and so on. Okay, so this is the process. <coughs> the team assigned challenging project has one more employee than the rest. Now there are 21 employees. Okay, there are 21 employees. So uh, it says the team which has a challenging project has one more employee than the rest. So if I divide them equally, you'll have four, 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 four. That's 20. The one additional person goes to the person, the team which will be having the challenging project. So in the first month, Team 1 will have 5 members, second month team 2 will have 5 members, third month T3, fourth month T4 and fifth month T5. So this is the number of uh, challenging members which are there. Then there are certain assignments which are there, more information. So I have shifted it down to, I have summarized this in here. So we will see how the project actually progresses. Okay. So <coughs> you have 5 employees here. Next month you'll have five employees here. Next month you'll have five employees here, five employees here, and five employees here. These are the teams which are doing the challenging project. Okay, <coughs> now in the first month for special employees, okay, T1 is one more than T2, T2 is one more than T3, T3 is one more than T4, and T4 is one more than T5. So if this is X, this will be X plus one, this will be one more than this, so x plus 2, this will be x plus 3, and this will be x plus 4. Okay, and sum of this is 10, there are 10 special employees. So if I add this, you'll get 5x plus 1 to 4, 10 equals 10. So x should be 0. So in the first month, you have 0 special employees here. So you'll have one special employee here, you'll have two special employee here, you'll have three special employees here, and you'll have four special employees here. Okay. <coughs> now, it says the balance will be the balance will be regular employees. Okay. Now there should be five employees in T1, so one should be regular. Here there should be one regular, three. Here there should be two regular, here you should be three regular, and here all the four members are regular. Now once this project is done, this is the changeover rule. A team is allocated a challenging project for the month gets two special engineers from the team from the last month, and one regular engineer is given back. This is an exchange. 
so the first stage of exchange okay let me just erase this create some more space okay <coughs> so in the first stage of exchange okay peep, the next month t2 is going to get a t2 is going to get the special project so the special the challenging project so it will get two special engineers from the previous team so from 3 it will go to 5 five special engineers and in return it will give one regular engineer back one regular engineer back so from one it will become zero so the team becomes 50 again okay let me just write this okay it becomes 50 again okay now what will be t1 it loses two employees so it will have two and it gains one back two and two four right everything else remains as it is two and two will remain two and two one and three remain one and three zero and four remains zero and four now there is a second level of change if after the exchange which means this exchange if t1 has any special engineers and t5 has any regular engineers then the shift from there then you have to shift one special engineer from t1 to t5 and one sh re regular engineer back to back okay and the same has to be done for t2 and t4 also if they have any special engineers and regular engineers okay so let's do this change now you have a special engineer here and you have a regular engineer here so you'll have to exchange here so instead of 2 2 you'll have 1 3 this will become 1 4 1 3 again sorry same is going to be an exchange between t2 and t4 so from 5 0 it will become 4 1 and from 1 3 it will become 2 2 this remains exactly as it is t3 remains exactly as it is now let's repeat the process in the next month in the next month the same process will happen now t2 had a challenging project so next month 3 t3 will have a challenging project so it will get two more employees two special employees so this will become 4 it will have to give back one so this will become 1 this will change to become 2 okay now the second exchange will be there there is a special employee so it will move to t5 a regular employee will come here so this will become 04 this will become 22 okay similarly this will also there will be an exchange here also from 22 this will become 13 and from 22 this will become 31 <coughs> all right okay Let's see what happens the next month. Next month, two employees will go from here and one will go from here. So this will become two two. This will become five uh, zero. Others remain as of now the same. Now, let's see if the exchange is possible. There are no special engineers here, so it will stay as zero four. This will stay at two two. There is a regular engine special engineer here, and there is a there is no regular engineer here now so this will stay at 1 3 right <coughs> okay so this means now in the last month from t4 to t5 there will be an exchange so this will become uh sorry this will become 3 1 this will become 4 1 Okay, this will remain as it is. Now there will be an exchange. There is no special engineer, so this will remain at zero four. Okay, there is a special engineer, so there will be an exchange. So this will become zero four. This will become four zero, and this will stay at two two. Right. So this will be the entire process. Okay. we also know a standard project has 100 credits a challenging project has 200 credits credits are shared equally among team members now a standard project has four members so each person will get 25 points a challenging project has five members so each project will get each person will get 200 by 5 which is 40 points okay so this is the this is what we have got okay let's go to the question I have the parts in detail. I have written down the steps in detail for ease of use. Okay, this is after the first exchange. 
and after the uh, second one is applied okay so this is what it will look the actual project worked by these people these slightly shaded people <coughs> okay so let's work the number of times in which the composition of t2 and the number of times in which the composition of t4 remains unchanged in two successive months are t2 and t4 okay from 3 1 it became 4 1 from 4 1 it became 1 3 from 1 3 it became 1 3 so it remained unchanged here 1 3 to 0 4 no so there is only once it remained unchanged so these two are out let's see how many times t5 remain sorry this is the option how many times okay t2 remains unchanged only once so this is out this is out okay let's see how many times sorry this is out okay so let's see how many times is t4 remains unchanged t4 remains unchanged uh, change here change here change here change here it never remains unchanged so one zero will be your correct choice <coughs> right okay let's look at the next one the number of sc in t1 and t5 for projects in the third month in the third month number of sc in t1 number of sc in t1 is 0 and number of sc in t5 t5 will be 2 so 0 2 option 1 is your correct choice that's pretty easy let's go to the next one which of the following cannot be the total credit points earned by any employee from the projects okay now we know for a standard project you get 25 points for a challenging project you get 40 points so 20 for a, a 25 for a standard project and 40 for a challenging project now we don't know how many challenging projects a person does how many regular projects or standard projects a person does there is a possibility that he can do all standard products uh, projects he can also do all challenging projects so if he starts with all five standard projects he will get 100 points overall five into uh, sorry he will get 125 point points overall and if he does all five challenging projects he will get five into 40 200 now every time he goes from standard to challenging he will lose 25 points but gain 40 so it will be an increment of 15 so he can score from 125 this will become 140 from 140 it will become 155 from 155 it will become 170 from 170 it can become 185 and from 185 it can become 200 right depending on the composition so 140 is possible 150 is not possible 170 is possible 200 is possible so 150 is a number which cannot be earned in terms of points there is no way you can earn 150 points at the end of these five projects given the distribution of points <coughs> okay and let's look at the last one okay one of the employees named anik scored 185 points which of the following cannot be true now 185 points if you go back to the previous one 185 points this was all five challenging this is four challenging one special uh, one standard so 185 will be four challenging and one special uh, sorry uh, one standard one standard project okay now it says which of the following cannot be true Okay, Anik worked only in T1, T2, T3, T4. Anik worked only in T1, T2, T4, T5, T2, T3, T4, T5, or T1, T3, T4, T5. Okay. <laughs> now let's see how the process, uh, what are the transitions possible. Now from T1, you can go to T2 because of, uh, because of the exchange in the second round. You cannot go to T3 directly. You can go to T4. Uh, can you go to T4? No, you cannot go to T4. You can go to T5. From T2, you can go to T1, T3, or T4. Okay. <coughs> now, from T3, you can go to T2 or 
T4, right? From T4, you can go to T5, you can go back to T3, or you can have the exchange to T2. And from T5, you can either go to T4, or you can go all the way to the front, T1. Okay, so let's see which of the paths are not possible. T1, T2, T3, T4. From T1 to T2 is possible, T2 to T3 is possible, T3 to T4 is possible. So first one is possible. Okay, T1, T2, T4, T5. T1, T2, T2 to T4, T4 to T5 is possible. So this is also possible. Okay. <coughs> T2, T3, T4, T5, T2, T3, T3, T4, T4 to T5, all this is also possible. So this seems to be the only one which is not possible. Let's see. T1, T3, T4, T5. Okay. Now you can go from T1 to T5. T5, you can go to T4. And from T4, you can go to T3. So you don't do T2 at all. But if you do this part, Okay, will you be actually working on special projects? Okay, you work on a special project here. Okay, then you go to T5. If you go to T5, you will not be doing the special project. So one standard project you will be doing. From T5, you will be going to T4. Again, not a special project. It's a regular project. So if you do two regular projects, if you do two regular projects, there is no way you can hit 185 points. So this fourth one seems, fourth one seems difficult. See, all the other cases you can start with, these four can all be challenging projects. And one, if you, just because you stay there, you do the regular project. But in this case, if you go from T1 to T5 directly, you will first do this, you can first do the special project or challenging project, but T5 and T4, they will both be standard projects. So the moment you do two standard projects, you cannot hit 185 points. So option four will be your correct choice. Okay, that finishes our set. Okay, hope you uh, <coughs> hope you liked the uh, solution. If you have any comments on this, please do share on our uh, please do share on our WhatsApp number. You can also look at our courses on topmytest.com or on InstaMojo. Till we meet again next time. Thank you.